Sorry for that quick turnabout. I hope I'm uh, on the video and uh, that it is visible because uh, I can't see the screen. I'm using the back camera because it's a better camera. Anyhow, I'm uh, getting some exercise in the Lynx playground because I've injured my ankle and I can't run uh, right now. So um, I've taken to walking, well, snowshoeing, snowshoeing uh, now. Here, maybe you can see my snowshoes down there. Snowshoeing in the Lynx playground uh, when I need them. Um, for exercise and uh, so I'm doing that today and I thought it might be interesting for you to uh, have a tour of the Lynx playground um, so I'm going to give you that right now it takes me about five minutes to get around the circuit <laughs> uh, I don't know if you'll be interested in watching that long but uh, you're welcome to accompany me if you'd like all right here we go all right so there's the, there's the deck where um, the Lynx played, and uh, there is the spot where Mommy uh, brought her kittens onto the deck. And uh, I will walk below the deck here. Beautiful snowy day today. We've had about, oh, four inches since last night, uh, and it's still coming down. I think we're, we're going to get more today. And, yeah, I should point out, I should point out, uh, right here is where the uh, What Are You Kitty um, escaped from me in her terror and uh, leapt from here all the way down to the terrace because I let her see my eyes and it terrified her and uh, so she ran to escape. I had up to that point kept my eyes behind the camera but when <laughs> I brought them out because I was too enraptured and wanted to say something like oh my you are so cute um, but she was not receptive <laughs> and so she she took off yeah, in, in abject terror so I love all the snow on the branches. Okay, now this is a little bit tricky hill. Going downhill in snowshoes is a little bit of a challenge. Fortunately, these snowshoes have um, little spikes on the bottom that uh, allow me to get traction, providing, providing I place my feet just so now here on the right, so this is this is where the this is where the lynx jumped from all the way down to here <laughs> when she saw me. Uh, so and and here on the right is uh, a hillside where I must labor uh, continuously every summer to keep the elderberry. Uh, in check. Otherwise, it will completely take over uh, the Lynx playground in a manner similar to what you see right there. So, um, that keeps me perpetually occupied. And right down here is where I was when I spotted those uh, that uh, what I now know is a ruffed grouse and the moose. The ruffed grouse was right over in this little elderberry bush here and the moose was 
got behind them there. Oh, I'm getting an emergency COVID alert. Okay. All right, as I'm trying to video. Okay, would you like to continue? Okay, yeah, go ahead and send them to me, but stop for now. All right, so, um, so yeah, uh, the moose is right down there behind those bushes. We'll go down and take a look at that spot too. Now, it may be particularly entertaining as I go down here. So I've uh, just about fallen <laughs> Whoa. a number of times. Uh, it's very steep. Uh, uh, made it. All right, and this is this is the area where uh, those photos I showed you the other day, Mama and Baby Moose were lying. Uh, what what beautiful country it is when it's uh, uh, covered in snow, fresh snow like this, and of course at other times as well. All right, here we go. Kind of a nice path, huh? It takes me about, like I say, well, when I'm not when I'm not filming, it takes me about oh five minutes to make the circuit, and I do it about six times. It gives me uh, a nice half hour of uh, half hour walkies. Um, so I try to lately try to do that once in the morning and once in the evening, and uh, and. Uh, do some other calisthenics and whatnot when I can't go out and run um, throughout the day. Oh. Yeah. oh, I'll show you up here. This is where I keep seeing uh, that little coyote lass. I keep seeing her tracks. They're right here. I don't know if you can make them out right now, but these are her tracks. She keeps coming through here. Uh, I've seen her track several days now um, and then she she walks up here and then and then uh, along the terrace there and uh, and then along along the edge and she's looking for uh, she's looking for rabbit I believe uh, because she walks see I don't know can you make out her tracks here she walks right along the edge constantly scoping out the hill below her and then my path <laughs> is up here uh, and she doesn't take that because she can't see the uh, the rabbits or well technically they're snowshoe hares and uh, I the, I see tracks I see their tracks uh, around here too lately uh, so we are well supplied in snowshoe hares and uh, haven't seen so many lynx around here lately, but the neighbors have. Um, they just uh, haven't been hanging around uh, the lynx playground, but it's it's here waiting for them when they're uh, when they're up for it again, um, and the coyotes. So, all right, here's another kind of challenging uphill. Uh, fine. Well, I hope this has been a, at least mildly entertaining um, excursion for y'all. And uh, you all have a, a wonderful day. And uh, uh, great to have you along today. All right. Bye-bye.